Countries that use the Arabic script, as the sole official script is a co-official script the Arabic alphabet, Arabic, i labjad e yad il harabiyat al abjadjia al arabiya or al haruf il harabiya al haruf al arabiya ipa al abad adijia al arabiya or arabic abjad is the arabic script as it is codified for writing arabic it is written from right to left in a cursive style and includes 28 letters most letters have contextual letter forms the arabic alphabet is considered an abjad meaning it only uses consonants but it is now considered an impure abjad As with other impure abjads such as the Hebrew alphabet scribes later devised means of indicating vowel sounds by separate vowel diacritics The Arabic alphabet is the third most used writing system in the world after the Latin alphabet and Chinese characters It is the most common script to write for the Arabic language and it is also the most common script used to write for some other languages with large numbers of Muslim speakers such as Persian and Urdu And it is one of the variant scripts used to write in other languages such as Punjabi, Malay, and Sundanese. All of these languages added some letters to represent phonemes absent from Arabic, but present in the aforementioned languages. It is also used as the base to write the Uyghur Arabic alphabet, which uses many of the same letters as the Arabic alphabet, but differs in the fact that the Uyghur Arabic alphabet added mandatory vowel letters, as opposed to vowel diacritics that are usually optional and or omitted. The basic Arabic alphabet contains 28 letters. Adaptations of the Arabic script for other languages added and removed some letters as for Persian, Ottoman Turkish, Central Kurdish, Urdu, Sindhi, Malay, Pashto, Arwi and Arabic Malayalam, all of which have additional letters as shown below. There are no distinct upper and lower case letter forms. Many letters look similar but are distinguished from one another by dots above or below their central part. These dots are an integral part of a letter since they distinguish between letters that represent different sounds. For example, the Arabic letters ba, ta and tha have the same basic shape but have one dot below, two dots above and three dots above respectively. The letter nun also has the same form in initial and medial forms with one dot above though it is somewhat different in isolated and final form. Both printed and written Arabic are cursive with most of the letters within a word directly connected to the adjacent letters. There are two main collating sequences for the Arabic alphabet, abjad and iha. The original abjadji order, used for lettering, derives from the order of the Phoenician alphabet and is therefore similar to the order of other Phoenician derived alphabets such as the Hebrew alphabet. In this order, letters are also used as numbers, abjad numerals, and possess the same alphanumeric code/cipher as Hebrew gematria and Greek isopsephy. The hajji or alif ba i order Use where lists of names and words are sorted as in phone books, classroom lists, and dictionaries, groups letters by similarity of shape. Abjadi the abjadi order is not a simple historical continuation of the earlier North Semitic alphabetic order since it has a position corresponding to the Aramaic letter sink/semkot. Yet no letter of the Arabic alphabet historically derives from that letter. Loss of Samic was compensated for by the split of Shin into two independent Arabic letters, Shin and which moved up to take the place of Samic. The six other letters that do not correspond to any North Semitic letter are placed at the end. This is commonly vocalized as follows. Another vocalization is, this can be vocalized as, Iha I modern dictionaries and other reference books do not use the abjadi order to sort alphabetically. Instead, The newer Iha I order is used wherein letters are partially grouped together by similarity of shape. The Iha I order is never used as numerals. Another kind of Iha I order was used widely in the Maghreb until recently when it was replaced by the Mashriqi order. The Arabic alphabet is always cursive and letters vary in shape depending on their position within a word. Letters can exhibit up to 4 distinct forms corresponding to an initial, medial, final, or isolated position. While some letters show considerable variations, others remain almost identical across all four positions. Generally, letters in the same word are linked together on both sides by short horizontal lines, but six letters can only be linked to their preceding letter. For example, Ararat has only isolated forms because each letter cannot be connected to its following one. In addition, some letter combinations are written as ligatures, notably lam alif la, which is the only mandatory ligature. Table of basic letters notes variations alif modified letters the following are not individual letters but rather different contextual variants of some of the arabic letters ligatures components of a ligature for ala 1 alif 2 hamza wasl 3 lam 
Lamb 5. Shadda 6. Dagger Alif 7. Ha the use of ligature in Arabic is common. There is one compulsory ligature, that for Lam Lam plus Alif Alif, which exists in two forms. All other ligatures, of which there are many, are optional. A more complex ligature that combines as many as seven distinct components is commonly used to represent the word Allah. The only ligature within the primary range of Arabic script in Unicode is Lam plus Alif. This is the only one compulsory for fonts and word processing. Other ranges are for compatibility to older standards and contain other ligatures, which are optional. Note, Unicode also has in its presentation form BFX range a code for this ligature. If your browser and font are configured correctly for Arabic, the ligature displayed above should be identical to this one, U plus FIF Arabic. Ligature LAM with a LEF isolated form, note, Unicode also has in its presentation form BU plus FEX range a code for this ligature. If your browser and font are configured correctly for Arabic, the ligature displayed above should be identical to this one, another. Ligature in the Unicode presentation form a range U plus F dot B. 50 to U plus FDXX is the special code for glyph for the ligature Allah. U plus FDF2 Arabic ligature Allah isolated form, this is a workaround for the shortcomings of most text processors, which are incapable of displaying the correct vowel marks for the word Allah in Quran. Because Arabic script is used to write other texts rather than Quran only, rendering lamb plus lamb plus ha as the previous ligature is considered faulty, if one of a number of fonts, not onask Arabic, re underscore kaxtkern. Text 1, Deja Vu Sans, Harmaton, Shahrazad, Latif, Iranian Sans, is installed on a computer, the word will appear without diacritics. An attempt to show them on the faulty fonts without automatically adding the gemination mark and the superscript alif, although may not display as desired on all browsers, is by adding the U plus 200D after the first or second lamb gemination gemination is the doubling of a consonant. Instead of writing the letter twice, Arabic places a W-shaped sign called shada, above it. Note that if a vowel occurs between the two consonants the letter will simply be written twice. The diacritic only appears where the consonant at the end of one syllable is identical to the initial consonant of the following syllable. Dot. Nunation nunation is the addition of a final n to a noun or adjective. The vowel before it indicates grammatical case. In written Arabic nunation is indicated by doubling the vowel diacritic at the end of the word. Users of Arabic usually write long vowels but omit short ones, so readers must utilize their knowledge of the language in order to supply the missing vowels. However, in the education system and particularly in classes on Arabic grammar these vowels are used since they are crucial to the grammar. An Arabic sentence can have a completely different meaning by a subtle change of the vowels. This is why in an important text such as the Quran the three basic vowel signs are mandated, like the harakat and all the other diacritics or other types of marks, for example the cantillation signs. In the Arabic handwriting of everyday use, in general publications, and on street signs, short vowels are typically not written. On the other hand, copies of the Quran cannot be endorsed by the religious institutes that review them unless the diacritics are included. Children's books, elementary school texts, and Arabic language grammars in general will include diacritics to some degree. These are known as vocalized texts. Short vowels may be written with diacritics placed above or below the consonant that precedes them in the syllable, called harakat. All Arabic vowels, long and short, follow a consonant. In Arabic, words like ali or alif, for example, start with a consonant, ali e, alif. In the fully vocalized Arabic text found in texts such as Quran, a long a following a consonant other than a hamza is written with a short a sign. On the consonant plus an alif after it, long i is written as a sign for short i plus a ya, and long u is a sign for short u plus a vav. Briefly, i equals a, e equals i, and u w equals u. Long a following a hamza may be represented by an alif mata or by a free hamza followed by an alif. The table below shows vowels placed above or below a dotted circle replacing a primary consonant letter or a shadow sign. For clarity in the table, the primary letters on the left used to mark these long vowels are shown only in their isolated form. Most consonants do connect to the left with alif, vav and you're written then with their medial or final form. Additionally, the letter ya in the last row may connect to the letter on its left, and then will use a medial or initial form. Use the table of primary letters to look at their actual glyph and joining types. In unvocalized text, the long vowels are represented by the vowel in question, alif ta'ala slash makshura, vav, or ya. 
Long vowels written in the middle of a word of unvocalized text are treated like consonants with a sukun in a text that has full diacritics. Here also, the table shows long vowel letters only in isolated form for clarity. Combinations we and ya are always pronounced wa and ya respectively. The exception is the suffix we in verb endings where a leaf is silent, resulting in u or a. In addition, when transliterating names and loanwords, Arabic language speakers write out most or all the vowels as long, meaning it approaches a true alphabet. The diphthongs, aj, and slash a slash are represented in vocalized text as follows, an Arabic syllable can be open or closed, a normal text is composed only of a series of consonants plus vowel lengthening letters, thus, the word kalb, heart, is written qlb, and the word kalaba he turned around, is also written qlb. To write kalaba without this ambiguity, we could indicate that the L is followed by a short A by writing a father above it. To write kalb, we would instead indicate that the L is followed by no vowel by marking it with a diacritic called sukun, like this, kilb. This is one step down from full vocalization, where the vowel after the Q would also be indicated by a father, kalb. The Quran is traditionally written in full vocalization. The long I sound in some editions of the Quran is written with a kasra followed by a diacritic less Y, and long U by a dama followed by a bare W. In others, these Y and W carry a sukun. Outside of the Quran, the latter convention is extremely rare, to the point that Y with sukun will be unambiguously read as the diphthong, AJ slash, and W with sukun will be read slash aw slash. For example, the letters MYL can be read like English male or male, or also like mo or male. But if a sukun is added on the Y then the M cannot have a sukun, cannot have a dama, and cannot have a kasra, so it must have a fatha and the only possible pronunciation is slash majil slash. By the same token, MYT with a sukun over the Y can be mate but not mawit or meat, and MWT with a sukun on the W can only be maut, not moot. Vowel marks are always written as if the Arab vowels were in fact pronounced, even when they must be skipped in actual pronunciation. So, when writing the name Ahmad, it is optional to place a sukun on the H, but a sukun is forbidden on the D, because it would carry a dama if any other word followed, as in Amadou Zaji Ahmad is my husband. Another example, the sentence that in correct literary Arabic must be pronounced Amadou Zajan Shur Ahmad as a wicked husband, is usually mispronounced as Ahmad Zad Shur. Yet, for the purposes of Arabic grammar and orthography, is treated as if it were not mispronounced and as if yet another word followed it, I, E. If adding any vowel marks, they must be added as if the pronunciation were Amadou Zajan Sherarun with a tenween un at the end. So, it is correct to add an un tenween sign on the final R, but actually pronouncing it would be a hypercorrection. Also, it is never correct to write a sukun on that R, even though in actual pronunciation it is sukun. Of course, if the correct Arab is a sukun, it may be optionally written. The sukun is also used for transliterating words into the Arabic script. The Persian word mosque, for example, might be written with a sukun above the to signify that there is no vowel sound between that letter and the cough. Some letters take a traditionally different form in specific regions, some modified letters are used to represent non-native sounds of modern standard Arabic. These letters are used in transliterated names, loanwords and dialectal words. Slash T slash is considered a native phoneme slash allophone in some dialects, e. g. Kuwaiti and Iraqi dialects. Slash slash is considered a native phoneme in Levantine and North African dialects and is an allophone in others. Slash slash is considered a native phoneme slash allophone in most modern Arabic dialects. There are two main kinds of numerals used along with Arabic text, Western Arabic numerals and Eastern Arabic numerals. In most of present-day North Africa, the usual Western Arabic numerals are used. Like Western Arabic numerals, in Eastern Arabic numerals, the units are always rightmost, and the highest value leftmost. Eastern Arabic numbers are written from left to right. In addition, the Arabic alphabet can be used to represent numbers. This usage is based on the Abjadi order of the alphabet. Alif Hamzad Alif is 1, Ba Ba is 2, Jim Jim is 3, and so on until Yahya equals 10, Kaf Kaf equals 20, Lam Lam equals 30, Ra Ra equals 200, Gain Gain equals 1000. This is sometimes used to produce chronograms. Evolution of Early Arabic Calligraphy The Basmullah is taken as an example, from Kufic Quran manuscripts. Early 9th century script used no dots or diacritic marks, and in the 9th-10th century during the Abbasid dynasty, 
Abu al Aswad's system used red dots with each arrangement or position indicating a different short vowel. Later, a second system of black dots was used to differentiate between letters like fa and qaf. In the 11th century, dots were changed into shapes resembling the letters to transcribe the corresponding long vowels. This system is the one used today. The Arabic alphabet can be traced back to the Nabataean alphabet used to write Nabataean. The first known text in the Arabic alphabet is a late 4th century inscription from Jabal Ram in Jordan, but the first dated one is a trilingual inscription at Zebed in Syria from 512. However, the epigraphic record is extremely sparse, with only five certainly pre-Islamic Arabic inscriptions surviving, though some others may be pre-Islamic. Later, dots were added above and below the letters to differentiate them. The Aramaic language had fewer phonemes than the Arabic, and some originally distinct Aramaic letters had become indistinguishable in shape, so that in the early writings 15 distinct letter shapes had to do duty for 28 sounds, cf. The similarly ambiguous Pahlavi alphabet, the first surviving document that definitely uses these dots is also the first surviving Arabic papyrus. Dated April 643, although they did not become obligatory until much later. Important texts were and still are frequently memorized, especially in Quran memorization. Later still, vowel marks and the Hamza were introduced, beginning some time in the latter half of the 7th century, preceding the first invention of Syriac and Hebrew vocalization. Initially, this was done by a system of red dots, said to have been commissioned in the Umayyad era by Abu al-Aswad al-Duwaliya dot above equals a, a dot below equals i, a dot on the line equals u, and double dots indicated nunation. However, this was cumbersome and easily confusable with the letter distinguishing dots, so about 100 years later, the modern system was adopted. The system was finalized around 786 by al farahidi Although Napoleon Bonaparte generally receives credit for introducing the printing press to Egypt during his invasion of that country in 1798, and though he did indeed bring printing presses and Arabic script presses to print the French occupation's official newspaper al Tanbiya. Printing in the Arabic language started several centuries earlier. In 1514, following Gutenberg's invention of the printing press in 1450, Gregorio de Gregorii, a Venetian, published an entire prayer book in Arabic script. It was entitled Kitab Salat al Sawai and was intended for Eastern Christian communities. Between 1580 and 1586, type designer Robert Granjone designed Arabic typefaces for Cardinal Ferdinando de Medici and the Medici Press published many Christian prayer and scholarly Arabic texts in the late 16th century. Maronite monks at the Markchai Monastery in Mount Lebanon published the first Arabic books to use movable type in the Middle East. The monks transliterated the Arabic language using Syriac script. A goldsmith designed and implemented an Arabic script movable type printing press in the Middle East. The Greek Orthodox monk Abd al-Azakir set up an Arabic printing press using movable type at the Monastery of St. John at the town of Dawar el shuwayr in Mount Lebanon, the first homemade press in Lebanon using Arabic script. He personally cut the type molds and did the founding of the typeface. The first book came off his press in 1734, this press continued in use until 1899. The Arabic alphabet can be encoded using several character sets, including ISO 8859-6, Windows 1256 and Unicode, latter thanks to the Arabic segment. Entries U plus 0600 to U plus 06 FF. However, none of the sets indicates the form that each character should take in context. It is left to the rendering engine to select the proper glyph to display for each character. Each letter has a position independent encoding in Unicode, and the rendering software can infer the correct glyph form from its joining context. That is the current recommendation. However, for compatibility with previous standards, the initial, medial, final and isolated forms can also be encoded separately. As of Unicode 14. 0. The Arabic script is contained in the following blocks. The basic Arabic range encodes the standard letters and diacritics but does not encode contextual forms. It also includes the most common diacritics and Arabic indic digits. U plus 06D6 to U plus 06 ed encode Quranic annotation signs such as end of ayah and start of rub el hizb. The Arabic supplement range encodes letter variants mostly used for writing African languages. The Arabic extended A range encodes additional Quranic annotations and letter variants used for various non-Arabic languages. The Arabic presentation forms A range encodes contextual forms and ligatures of letter variants needed for Persian, Urdu, Sindhi and Central Asian languages. 
the Arabic presentation forms be range in codes spacing forms of Arabic diacritics, and more contextual letter forms. The Arabic mathematical alphabetical symbols block encodes characters used in Arabic mathematical expressions. See also the notes of the section on modified letters. Arabic Mac keyboard layout Arabic PC keyboard layout and telecomposed on a QWERTY keyboard layout. Keyboards designed for different nations have different layouts so proficiency in one style of keyboard, such as Iraq's, does not transfer to proficiency in another, such as Saudi Arabia's. Differences can include the location of non-alphabetic characters. All Arabic keyboards allow typing Roman characters, E. G. For the URL in a web browser. Thus, each Arabic keyboard has both Arabic and Roman characters marked on the keys. Usually the Roman characters of an Arabic keyboard conform to the QWERTY layout, but in North Africa, where French is the most common. Language typed using the Roman characters, the Arabic keyboards are Azerty. To encode a particular written form of a character. There are extra code points provided in Unicode which can be used to express the exact written form desired. The range Arabic presentation forms A contain ligatures while the range Arabic presentation forms B contains the positional variants. These effects are better achieved in Unicode by using the zero-width joiner and non-joiner, as these presentation forms are deprecated in Unicode, and should generally only be used within the internals of text rendering software. When using Unicode as an intermediate form for conversion between character encodings, or for backwards compatibility with implementations that rely on the hard coding of glyph forms. Finally, the Unicode encoding of Arabic is in logical order, that is, the characters are entered, and stored in computer memory, in the order that they are written and pronounced without worrying about the direction in which they will be displayed on paper or on the screen. Again, it is left to the rendering engine to present the characters in the correct direction, using Unicode's bidirectional text features. In this regard, if the Arabic words on this page are written left to right, it is an indication that the Unicode rendering engine used to display them is out of date. There are competing online tools, e. g. Yaunli Editor which allow entry of Arabic letters without having Arabic support installed on a PC, and without knowledge of the layout of the Arabic keyboard. The first software program of its kind in the world that identifies Arabic handwriting in real time was developed by researchers at Ben Gurion University. The prototype enables the user to write Arabic words by hand on an electronic screen, which then analyzes the text and translates it into printed Arabic letters in a thousandth of a second. The error rate is less than 3%, according to Dr. Jihad El Sana, from BGU's Department of Computer Sciences, who developed the system along with master's degree student Fadi Biadzi. This article contains major sections of text from the very detailed article Arabic alphabet from the French Wikipedia, which has been partially translated into English. Further translation of that page, and its incorporation into the text here, are welcomed. Thanks for watching.